Hey everyone, it's Zadira and Steffi, and oh my goodness, we're so nervous. We're over here at the volcano. Oh, welcome. We are on the new four-door map on the Mystic Mayhem server. All the information you need to know is below in the description. Steffi's putting down bets because we're about to do something dangerous. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little nervous. Yeah, and I didn't even bring my hawk, Steffi. But anyway, we found, we have shinies. Let me show this real quick. We have shinies on our map, and we saw this russet velanosaur. And even though it's an extremely dangerous area, we thought we'd come over and check it out. We're going to try to tame it with immersive taming. So, well, I don't know. We don't know for sure if we can. I have done this before. I have tamed immersively a velanosaur before, but it's going to definitely hurt But me, I wonder so. if, no, can you not get on your bird and drop it? Because actually, guys, so. this is... This is really crazy because the Velanosaurus. Oh, wait, did he get out? Well, that person. Oh, he got out. That's okay. We can still do it. Yeah, I let's see try it. that. Let's. Have you got your okay, prime meat and your zero slots? Yeah, I do. I'm okay. ready. You go ahead and you're going to try to tame it. Okay, I dropped some meat. Okay. Oh, he was looking for it. Okay, I'm going to get oh, up a I little higher. Oh, I dropped it right at his feet. Oh, my gosh. I didn't see the thing come up. Did he eat it? Not yet. Mm. But I also don't Are these see the it. ones, some that you have to do bait, maybe? No, no, I no. I mean, no, no, trophy no. bait? I, no, 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 no. I've done this before. Okay. I'm going to so throw sparkly. another one down. It was, it was lucky because we came over here and he was down here in this hole right here. And I thought, oh my gosh, he, we can trap him in there and he won't run away. Did he eat oh, it? He's going to it. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no, that, is that a meat eater? Oh, no, that Kentro oh, has been, that Kentro is being chased. He's being chased by a meat eater. By a Melania. Yeah. Okay, All right, so the first kind of leading meat. back over to these, over to this edge. Okay, so good maybe idea because drop it right there. Yeah. Well, close we, to him, but toward this way. Oh my gosh, they're awesome. We were talking about it. We think we're going to use Velodosaurus for the maybe the dragon, if we can get some really good ones. And man, if you have shiny stevy, there is a bas basilisk. We don't want it to go that way. Oh my gosh. Did it eat it? Oh. We don't want the basilisk to come over here and eat it. Oh, look, there's a ruined stone down there. I know. I'm not getting it right now. I'm not getting it. Right. Sure. Yeah, I'm not seeing the words come up. Have okay, I got... it did come up. Maybe I don't have my backspace now. Considers mm -hmm. you a friend. Weird that I'm not seeing it. That is weird because we're in the same tribe. Normally I see it. Okay, let's try to lead uh, him out this I, way. Yeah, I am. So if he considers you a friend, I wonder, can you maybe drop it over closer here, Steph? Okay. Um, oh, 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 he smelled it. I see him. Oh, no, that basilisk is coming, Steph. Shoot. No, no, no. Okay, he's busy. He's busy. Okay. okay. He's eating something. I don't know. Come on. He's eating a donut. Come on, little guy. You can do it. They're so high level that it does take a little while. Okay, his, ta his taming just went up, so you must have had a one way over there. So, oh my gosh, I wish he was coming over. Th oh, that basilisk. Oh my gosh. Oh, nope, he went under the ground. Okay. So we'll just keep leading him this way. Now, can you, have you put one down over here yet? No. Because at this point, you should be. I'm you, worried this Kentro, or, oh, did it kill the, our It Kentros must have killed that eaters? thing, and they won't bother us because they don't like prime meat. So, you're fine. In fact, you could probably, we could probably land and hand feed it. If we could get it to come over here close. There's two oh, that basilisk is way too close. Yeah, there's two basilisks. Here he comes, here he comes. He's coming. I don't know why I can't hear it see the words. Well, I thought he was. There, perfect. That is so perfect. Yes. Oh my gosh. Come that on, buddy. Basilisk. Yay, he's coming. Yeah, if we can get some super high levels. We were thinking, because these guys are like turrets. 
They shoot okay. out. Oh, he ate it. It's getting attached to you. May protect your tribe in battle. I think one more. There's one right there by him. A foo? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love how they walk. They're so cute. He's following you now. Look. Oh, he is. Awesome. I wonder if I can pet him. Yeah, I bet you can if you land. Right there. I'll watch that basilisk. Hey, don't get mad at me, buddy. Oh, he's so cute. Careful. Yes. Is he going to give you a present? Oh, my gosh. This is he awesome. Did. Oh, man. What did he give me? Oh, it fell in the ocean. <laughs> he gave me some hide. Oh, man. Okay, feed raw prime meat bait. Buddy, let's not go close to that guy. There. Yes. Yes, Steffi, congratulations. Thank you. That is Lee. so awesome. So it tamed to level 570. Oh my, that I, is awesome. We'll wait till we get somewhere a little safer to show the stats. I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and, um, hmm, I was thinking about putting my pteranodon in a, in a soul ball, but I think I'll be fine. I want to go over and get this. Oh my gosh, you're brave. How far is it? From it's the, right by the basilisk. Is it? Ah, it's out! Is it out? Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay we're out of here. We're out of here. We'll have to come back and get this run. Because these things can spit at you. Yeah. That oh, he was he right did. there, Steffi. Oh my yeah. gosh. So we can land on our birds. It's right. Oh, I don't see this. I don't see the basilisk. Where is he? Look at those poor doughies. It, oh, I do see him. Okay, I see him. Alrighty, so we decided to just head over here where it's safe at home to look at these guys' stats. Okay, so let's look at this. Um, let's see. 1,000, let's see. 12,000 in health is nice. not shabby. 3,000 in stam, over 3,000. We've got 954 in weight and a 625 in melee. That's Man. awesome. That is going to be a really good one, don't you think? I think so. I'm not sure I even looked at the numbers, but you can see uh, it shows in the spyglass. He was 97 in health, 92 in stam, and then the the oxygen got the got the high points, 114, and then food 95, and then uh, 86 weight and 80. So the melee is the lowest one. Darn it all. Good grief. Well, Bummer. Actually, these guys, he is pretty high in melee. So, actually, for these guys, you want to um, pump them in Sam. That's because right. They can go into this Look mode. Look at that. Ooh. And then yeah. you want them to have the stamina to keep shooting. Okay, yeah. So, so Stam is good, so it's good he got so much in Spam. Yeah, we'll still, we'll want to put, for boss battles, we'll want to put a lot of health and a lot of melee. Yeah. yeah but yeah. he's That's amazing. Perfect. His that level, is... I'm so shocked at his level. I know. <laughs> that is so awesome. That was lucky, because we didn't plan on doing that. No. And uh, that just, that, we, we put those tractors, those um, shiny dino tracker in our inventory, and now it comes up on the screen so I don't know if we talked about that a lot if you have the tracker in your toolbar you can click you can left click on it and it will show the exact location right now there's a poppy there there is Zeno um, and Yotun Valley so it shows let's see uh, if I click on it it shows it right here and if you see it in the middle of the ocean like that that means it's in another realm. And the, just the fact that it says Jotun Valley, we know that that is Jotunheim. Yeah. So you'll have to travel to Jotunheim. But it does give you, on our server, we give you the exact locations and everything. We only are showing one. I think everybody on our server is excited to get these shinies. For one thing, if you get a shiny, you get um, Ingrams for tech. Yes. Well... To finish off the video, I wanted to show a little bit. We haven't been in our base hardly at all. And we are just, oh my gosh, we are having so much fun with this base. Yes. And with Gordur and with all of these eco mods. And it's just wonderful. But I want to talk about the garden. We're using RP, RP Cooking Mod. And it is absolutely fantastic. If you've not ever used RP Cooking Mod, give it a shot. 
on your server. There is so much to it. I'm not going to go into great detail, but all these vegetables and things that you see here are grown with that mod. And like I say, I did a video not, oh, I don't know, back when the mod first came out, and I do show a lot of more detail. So if you want to know more detail, check it out. I do want to show just a little bit as far as a lot of people have questions about how to start with it. So this is the composting bin that you get in the mod. And what you'll do is put the poop in. One poop is equal to one fertilizer. So you put the poop in and you get all this. You get a fertilizer and then you also get leech blood that you can use for fishing. And then you also get seeds. And that's where people get a little bit confused. So I wanted to show you with the seed packet, you have to consume. So I consume one seed packet, then that brings up all these and it's random you don't know which seeds you're going to get and I only opened one and I got all these seeds so you just keep going back to the seed packet and what's interesting is you you can see the colors of the seeds that you get like this is cauliflower the packets are green so that tells you all of the green packages will be vegetables so like here's garlic potatoes those are all your vegetables and then this color is orange and peach that's going to tell you that those are your trees and so that we do have trees we have vegetables and then hops is the grains that you get so you can make grains all your grains come in one crop plot and then the purple that's strawberries that's your fruits and melons so that's how you can also tell the difference in those but you just keep opening those and you just keep getting tons of seeds I think um, I've already planted all mine, so we have extras. But that's that's how you get started. So that's a little bit confusing of how that is. But what is so great are some of the things. I'm going to go over them very quickly. Just a few things that are especially great with this mod is you get your mushroom box, and you have to put your mushroom seeds in, and your fertilizer, and make sure and water. But look, you get the aberration mushrooms as well as the mushrooms that you want to cook with. So that's really extra fun. You don't have to go to any, anywhere to get your aberration mushrooms. You get them very quickly here. Another really fun thing is you get honey. And here's our apiary. So you get an apiary. And as long as you put your apiary down near plants that are blooming and growing, you'll get honey. And this honey works just like giant bee honey. And you can use this in your nanny or anything else. You, it's just it's just amazing. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And so you water, you get your watering gear, and you can actually put down watering. The way you water your gardens is you just put down a, a, a little watering irrigation thing, and then you stick this little thing on top of it, and and it'll water for a, it waters a really long ways away. Like I have one here and I have one here and it waters this entire garden. That's how far, how far you can water. I do have, we do have our, another, we got, uh, one of our tribe members got one of the honeybees, SS beehives, but it will water too, but we don't need it if we don't want to have it. So you don't have to depend on getting stung by bees to have your honey. Another thing I wanted to show, there, there's so much. This is actually, this cabinet here is the one that you'll see in your inventory to start out to, to craft. It's right here. It's your kitchen counter. You craft that and you craft your garden bench. Those are your two main things that you want to craft to get started. And then you'll have everything you need. And you go into your garden, in your uh, crafting bench, your kitchen counter, and it's just like tons of stuff. You can see there's just so many things that you can craft. There's all your decor. You have lights that are so pretty. There's the thing I was talking about, the sink intake. And then here's the water intake. Those are the things. You'll put those down first. If you're familiar with Eco's sink, it works in the same way as that. You put these items down, and then you place your sink or uh, water intake. Water your watering thing over that. So then we have storage. So there's storage galore. You have, here's your water. That's where you get all that. See, there's a sink. And then you have uh, weapons, which are really funny. They're skins that you can put. So anyway, um, you have tons of stuff. And like, 
this is one of the things it's a little mortar and pestle you have a fermenting jars now this is the dye pot <laughs> for ecos there's the mixing bowl cutting board all of these things are you use them in this mod the, there's a spoiling barrel if you put spoiled meat it, it can change your meat into spoiled meat and leach blood and then there's the uh, little butter churn and you make your milk ice cream and milk you can make cream and butter and stuff this is the table grinder and so you need to, you need all these things here's like flour this is your wheat flour this is your rice flour peanut flour anyway and corn meal you can make cornmeal and you need all those in your recipes and here's this is how you make your vegetable oil so you need either avocado coconut peanut or sunflower seeds and you just say like if I want to make some uh, if I want to make some vegetable oil I just I can pull it on our server and it'll automatically start crafting your oil so then we have the grill and the, uh, the stove we have a cooking pot and a tea kettle and those are all things that you use to make stuff and really there's a couple of things that are that I just love making in this mod I'll show you real quick though I need what I need first I'll show you the milk while we're going out here if you have um, to um, um, just a female you don't even need a male and female I thought you did but you don't if you just have a female megaloceros uh, you put down the milk can and you will have milk I've already got 18 and then um, I'm, I was surprised I think you used to need a male and female but apparently you don't on our server for sure it was making milk when we just had the female and then another one thing that you can have is your uh, let's see let's open the gate it's your um, chicken coop and you put a couple of dodos down beside your chicken coop and they will lay eggs and these are for cooking those don't they don't work for using for dino eggs that'd be a little bit OP wouldn't it and so that's how you get your eggs for cooking in, in, in your recipes isn't that cute oh my gosh it's just adorable so then you also have all these different trees that you can plant and they come in these pots and it will give you like this is a cocoa tree so it gave me uh, three cocoa beans oh that's perfect because I needed five I think I have two already okay so there's Steffi she's busy 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 and so you have all kinds of trees like that and like this is an important very important tree it's the maple tree and what this does is it gives you maple syrup and that can be used as sap so you don't have to you know how sometimes you have things that need sap well you don't need any sap and then here's orange trees and lemon trees and lime trees and these are the crop plots I was telling you about when you get all of the seeds together that go in this crop plot it will make the crop plot for you and it's an all grain crop plot so it, it has your barley it has your all uh, has your barley and oats and let's see rice and all that in one crop plot so that's really neat and then here's your uh, melon patch and this will grow your um, melons your watermelon your pumpkins and all that and then same here with the uh, berry patch and it has all kinds of berries in it so I wanted to show you real quick uh, I, I got sidetracked but I want to show you so the let's see here I think it's in the stove there's a couple of recipes that are really useful and this one is the main one that I like and it's called uh, trail mix it gives you XP just like if you were to run over an explore node let's see if we can make one now I think we have to go chop up our so let me show you real quick before I go do that so it says you need um, chocolate you need oats you need peanut and you need washed cherries so there's where all these little things come in handy so you use the mortar and pestle and it shows you use your cocoa beans so let's put these others that I got and that will automatically make cocoa powder so we have cocoa powder and you can see you can make peanut butter that has the normal arc stuff in here 
Here's your all your stimu uh, stimulant and narcotic and stuff. So it has normal stuff. So then you want to go over to your cooking pot, which makes total sense, and put your cocoa powder in there. You need cocoa powder, cream, and sugar. So did we get the milk out? I think we did. Let's put it in the uh, butter churn. Let's put our milk in, and it, the milk will all it'll automatically churn your milk into look at that cream there we go i think we have some in the fridge already let's see here yep there's some so you need cream and cocoa powder you put that in your cooking pot there you go let's do this let's craft it says we can craft one one chocolate was that enough i don't remember we'll have to oh well actually it did three so maybe that is plenty so then we want to put our chocolate in. It needed chocolate, so let's go back here and put our chocolate in and see what else we need. Okay, let's pull. And is it making? Okay, it says craft one. Some of them make automatically and some of them don't. So there, look at that, trail mix. If I put that down in my zero slot and eat it, there we go. Look at that. I've got the same amount of time as normal Explorer Note, and that's going to help boost my XP. I can really raise my XP up a lot faster, and I think I'm level, what am I, level 76. When you start getting up in that 70s range and 70, 80, 90 range, goodness, it takes a long time to get, to get your XP up. So I love this. So anyway, the other thing I wanted to show, there's so much, oh my goodness, there is so much that I could show you. So, in the stove, there's also this, and this is the same, if you make this, it says, if it's meant to be, these tasty cakes will earn the trust of many pets. A lot of animals will heal quickly after eating these treats as well. These are like um, sweet veggie cakes. So, if you want to tame a snail or a sheep, then use these. And see, you can see we have, I think we have everything. Let's see if we have everything to make these. Yeah, and that one's actually going automatically. So it pulled all these things. It says it needs slice or dice carrots, slice or dice corn. I'll show you. And washed cherries. I'll show you that real quick because let me pull this out of here because, let's see, I don't think that'll spoil, but this veggie cake will. I'll show you that real quickly. If you want to do the washed cherries and, uh, let's see, yeah, here's, I think the washed cherries are in here. Yeah, you pushed washed berry and, like, you like if I will, if we want to wash one, we will pull that. It'll pull in five cherries and some water, and then that'll be your washed cherries. And that's in the mixing bowl to to get water. I, I need to show you this. This is important. So you go to the sink, and it says filter water. So if you look in the inventory, there it is. There's a. Uh, hundred I think there was some already in there and that's your water and it will pull from there to use it if you put the water in the uh, in the fridge this is the RP cooking fridge it makes ice cubes isn't that fun and then you need that for uh, I think some iced tea recipes and things like that so if it calls for ice that's where you get your ice but that's how you get your water a lot of people um, don't know how to do that you can keep clicking on that and it'll make more and more um, but it we've got lots of water and so uh, then you you can get a drink from here let's get a drink and then I like to turn the sink off there we go <laughs> so we showed the cherries now let's show if you go to the cutting board to get the cut chopped carrots so if we click one and do and that one's automatic and it's going to chop. Oh, see, I've already got some corn and carrots already made up. This is the diced corn. And then you can slice things like the peppers. And this is where you do all that. So now that I've made it as clear as mud, there's so much, like I said, there's so much to this mod. I want to show you in here. This is your spice rack. You have baking powder. You have cinnamon, mint. I mean, isn't salt and pepper, isn't this amazing? I do have one more thing. I wanted to show you the baby bottle. This is a an item that will instantly 100% blueprint uh, imprint your 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 new 
born babies. So I don't know if we have the ingredients for it. Yes, I did. Okay, so it, did, it was too fast. So you need egg, you need your fresh water, you need your maple syrup, you need milk and vegetable oil. So you give one of these into a brand new baby and have it consume it and it'll be 100% imprinted. No big deal. So is that amazing? I mean, those are three of the items that I think are worth having the mod just by themselves. What do you think, Steffi? Oh yeah, definitely, 100%. And if nothing else, I just love the mod because of how it looks. It just makes our home so homey yes. and cozy. Oh my and, gosh. And uh, I want you to look right here while Steffi's getting over here. We're gonna close out this video right now, but I wanna show you behind me. Look at these shine horns. These were a gift from Sims Play. Sims Play does videos and live streaming. I'll put her link in the description below. But they got, came over and gave us a whole bunch of little um, shine horns, aren't, aren't they? they? Cute? Oh my gosh, these are, these are so adorable. Absolutely, absolutely adorable. So I wanted to show those and also someone else gave us some snow owls. The zoo, yes. zookeepers gave us oh, snow owls. Oh I my gosh. love snow owls. This is the best server, guys. Thank you, Quan. Thank you, Zara. Yes, and since play a mic, thank you, guys. Yes. So much fun. We we just have such fun people. If you want to know anything about the server, it's all in the description below. So. I do appreciate each and every one of you very, very much. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, be sure and like and subscribe and press that notification bell so you can follow us on all of our adventures. Bye. Bye, guys.